In this video, I'm going to talk about particular features of the vertebral body of the lumbar spine. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. Conceptually, the lumbar vertebra may be divided into three different areas. The vertebral body, the pedicles and the posterior elements. In this part, we will look at the particular features of the vertebral body. The main task of the vertebral body is to subserve weight-bearing function of longitudinal forces. The flat design is perfect for this purpose. This load-bearing design is also reflected in the body's internal structure. The body is not made out of a solid block of bone, but a shell of cortical bone, which is surrounding cancellous cavities. This has two advantages, less weight and better weight-bearing properties. If you just imagine an outer layer of bone, just like a shell, we have the problem that this structure would collapse like a cardboard upon longitudinal pressure. Therefore, it is enforced by longitudinal struts which act like a strong but narrow block of bone. The problem with struts, however, is that they will start to bow under longitudinal pressure. But if we introduce cross beams, they will hold the struts in their place and prevent them from bowing and collapsing. If we look at the internal architecture of the vertebral body, we see exactly the same design. The transversal cross beams and the longitudinal struts are called transverse and vertical trabeculae. Any applied load is first borne by the vertical trabeculae and consequently this force is transferred to transverse tension. So first we have a longitudinal force and this is converted into transverse tension. So all in all we have a lightweight structure with maximal strength. On top of that the free spaces in between the trabeculae are used for blood supply and venous drainage. Additionally, the blood in those cavities acts like a sponge for further force absorption. If you want to know more about the particular features of the posterior elements, continue with the next part of the series by a click on the video right next to me. All right, this was our video on the particular features of the vertebral body. I hope this video was helpful to you and you enjoyed it. Please leave a thumbs up if you did, comment in the section down below or subscribe to our channel if you haven't and check us out on Instagram, Facebook or on physiotutors.com. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.